Hello, welcome. I'm Pauline from Pauline's Quilters World. I want to show you my favourite marking pencil. I love to use the Bohin brand pencil. This is a pencil that um, comes out of France. So I love it, love it. I use two different coloured leads. I use the white leads when I'm marking dark fabrics and I use the dark lead when I'm marking light fabrics. You know, some people buy two pencils, I only own one. And I, when I bought it, and the way we sell it is you get the two sets of leads with it, which will last you for a very, very long time if you use it like the way I'm going to show you. When you purchase one of these pencils, if you get one from us, it's going to come with two white leads inside or two black leads. It just varies from time to time. But you will get, um, if it comes with the white lead, we do package it with the dark lead as well. So you're getting both sets. Now, to set it up to start with, just it works like any other propelling pencil. We're going to pull the top off. Now, inside there, we're going to have two leads. Tip one out. So I've got um, two whites in here. I've tipped one of the whites out. Now I will put a black lead inside. So just pop it in there. I'm going to put this white one back inside. Put the top back on. Click down from the top. So the lead just comes through. Now, if it's a new lead, it will be quite sharp. It's very blunt and it's scratchy. So I suggest if it's a new lead that you're using, get a scrap of fabric and rub the lead and keep rotating your pencil around. So you get rid of that sharp edge and you get a nice rounded edge because you want it to draw nicely on the fabric. You don't want it to drag. And if you leave that sharp edge there, it will drag your fabric. Now, if I mark something onto my fabric and I want to get rid of that, I can erase it out with its normal eraser. So on here, we have an eraser. And a lot of people say to me, I've ran out of an eraser. What do I do next? Try winding it up try winding the bottom of the pencil while you hold the top, you have quite a long eraser that comes with this pencil. So you've got years and years and years of erasing there. But if you run out, you can buy a refill eraser. So we can erase the lines out. Now, if I'm going to draw with this pencil and I have my lead out too far and I press heavy, I can expect to snap the lead. So if your lead comes down too far and it's quite long, hold your pencil upright, compress the top down with your thumb and while you're compressing the top down, push the lead back up inside so you can just see it. Now just being able to see that lead, you can mark your fabric beautifully. Now, if you want this line to come out, um, it's not going to iron away because there's no chemicals in it. It's not a chemically based pencil, so it won't iron away. You can erase that line away just by using the eraser. Or when you wash this, those lines will wash out. Now, if you are going to press really, really heavy and put a really dark line on there, it's going to take you a long time to erase that off. And if you wanted to wash a heavy line out like this, you would probably have to put some soap powder on it. You'd probably have to rub it to, to be able to soften that thick line out. So just mark it lightly, as light as you need to be able to see it. Now, if I'm doing hand embroidery or quilting over these lines, once I stitch over this, you won't see it, which I love. Now, I've finished marking my light fabric. I now want to mark this dark green fabric. So what I'm going to do is push the top down, compress the top down again till the lead pops out. Keep the, finger, the thumb on the top, pull this black lead out through the front, but you must be pushing down the spring to that to happen. Then click down the white lead. There's the white lead come down now. Take the top off and put your black lead straight back inside. That way, one pencil will mark any colour for you. And it takes a split second to change this colour over. Now I can mark beautifully onto my dark fabric. Once again, I can erase it. I can iron over it. It will never become permanent. It will always come out. But remember, you don't want to mark too hard because the harder you mark, the harder the line is to get out. 
You can buy refills for it once you use up these cylinders of, of leads that you've got here. Just order the black or the white or the two together. But you'll have this pencil forever. Just love it. It will mark any coloured fabric. So when I do all my applique designs, when I mark quilting designs on my quilts, I have the one pencil that I have to go to. That's it. So there it is marking up on the black fabric and it is just beautiful to use. It doesn't drag the fabric. It just takes me wherever I want to go and I know it's going to come out if I make a mistake. So hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy and um, get yourself one of these pencils and love it like I do. So happy stitching. Until next time, bye for now.